Okay, here's what we're doing. Today I'm at Disney Springs. I'm coming here to the AMC Dine-In Theater to see the new film Spinning Gold that was just released on Friday. I've been waiting years for this movie to come out. I'll explain more why, uh, but I'm gonna go in here, watch the movie, maybe take a quick stroll around uh, Disney Springs, around this area of it, um, to see what's new. And I will give a full review of the film at the end. So stay tuned. looks like, based on the traffic, that Disney Springs is going to be a little busy today. The Orange Garage is generally my parking lot of choice, uh, but it doesn't look too bad actually on the sign there. Quite a few, several hundred parking places remaining on each level, so must not be too bad. You know, I've been saying for years I'm gonna go up in that balloon it goes up I don't know 150 feet or whatever it does but I've uh, never ever done it and the one or two times that I actually set out here to specifically ride it it was too windy and they grounded the thing because anytime there's high winds they don't take it up so maybe one of these days not today but maybe one day It's actually nowhere near as busy as I anticipated it being based on the cars going into the parking garage. It's still early yet, it's only about 11 o'clock, 11.15, but uh, this is about as empty as I've seen Disney Springs in a long time, years. I did not get my tickets in advance, so I've got the old school paper ticket. And we're going into theater 18. I love this theater. I've been coming here for 20 years now. Absolutely love this theater. Well, after some confusion about what theater the film is actually showing in, I made it to the right place in my seat, ready to go for the movie. Can't wait. Still not crazy busy even after the movie. It's really strange. Usually, especially on the weekends, this place is shoulder to shoulder. Okay, so I just got out of the movie, Spinning Gold. And what this is is the story, it's a movie, it's a biopic basically about the life of Neil Bogart. He was the owner of Casablanca Records in the 1970s. Uh, you'll remember him from, uh, or the Casablanca Records from such artists as Kiss, Donna Summer, um, the Village People, the Isley Brothers, Par Parliament Funkadelic, George Clinton, all that stuff. Uh, basically the soundtrack of my childhood. Uh, I grew up as a massive KISS fan uh, back in the 70s, uh, still to this day, still a card-carrying member of the KISS Army, that's me. Uh, but yeah, okay, so my thoughts on the film, it was, it was an excellent film. The film was phenomenal. Uh, like any biopic, they're gonna, they're gonna mess with history a little bit to fit uh, the script, to fit the, uh, the dramatic purposes, things like that. And I just had to give someone directions to the restroom, <laughs> but I'm back. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so I know that they have to, to make uh, changes and concessions and, and different things for dramatic purposes for Hollywood, things like that, I get it. Um, also, there are political agendas, personal agendas, things like that uh, by every filmmaker whatever I'm not gonna get into all that but I, I do have issues with a couple of things obviously I'm a basically a, a historian if you will uh, <laughs> because I've studied their history and they got a lot of stuff really kind of uh, uh, skewed 
to, to be polite about it. Uh, but bottom line is the movie is fantastic. I highly recommend you seeing it. It is a nationwide wide release, uh, but it's not one of those films you're gonna find. It's not a superhero blockbuster, obviously, so you're not gonna find it playing 38 times in every Cineplex nationwide. Uh, you may have to look a little bit for it, but it's there, go see it. It's called Spinning Gold. Uh, it was actually written and directed, I believe directed by the, uh, the uh, Tim Bogart, who is Neil's son, uh, and stayed to the very end of this. Uh, all the way to the end of the credits. There's there's literally something going on every moment of the credits, and it's really, really cool, uh, really well done. So, uh, yep, that's my uh, my quick version of the review. Uh, I highly recommend um, doing videos like this when there aren't helicopters flying over, first of all, but I highly recommend the film, and uh, definitely go support it. Uh, it's a great film. Check it out.